Hey everybody, uh, just got back from my walk, um, drink some water and relaxing a little bit. Um, so I went uh, 2.8 miles today, um, burned 511 calories and that's 4,287 steps. Um, it was a around a 17 and a half minute mile uh, for the walk. Um, I said hi to four people and four people said hi back to me. I'm going to start doing that now to start noting... Um, how many people I say hi to and how many people say back. And it's uh, really surprising and nice to see that people do say hi back. There's one guy yesterday that um, uh, ran by and I said hi to him. And I said, I, you guys know me. I got a loud freaking voice. I said hi to him and, and he just, you know, I've also noticed that, that um, men are definitely more inclined to look at you and say hi back whereas women and children mostly girls will um will not institute eye contact but when said hi to they will cheerfully say hello back okay which is i don't know mumbo jumbo social so society stuff anyway um so i think that i so i read um so as far as the books that I listened to today, I um, I listened to the first part of Switch by Chip Heath and Dan, Dan Heath, and so far, awesome, okay? Um, the analogy of, um, of your mind being an elephant with, with a rider, and your, your, the elephant is the, I want to go eat ice cream, and the rider is the, you want to lose weight type of thing. Uh, I, so far, 12 minutes into the book, I can't recommend a better book right now to listen to when walking. Um, I did, um, finish reading or listening to, um, Manage Your Health, or, Ma sorry, Manage Yourself by Peter Drucker, I believe is what it's called. Let me make sure here. Yeah, Managing Oneself by Peter F. Drucker. Um, this is a book that was recommended on Ty Lopez's website, and so was The Switch. So I'm just going to go start going through his books and see um, which ones I like and stuff. But like I said, this Switch, switch listening to Switch is, is, so far, it's awesome. And it really makes you think. Um, I'm going to go to uh, talk about something that I've always held as a, as a cornerstone to any relationship. And what needs to be done as people in order to 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 function better and it may not have to do with an idea about weight loss and stuff like that and really you guys need to understand that th this is not necessarily about me losing weight it's about me changing myself it's about me becoming successful and reaching the goal of being able to financially support the way of life that i would like to live okay um so anyway um you know, one thing that I have really always touted in, and I believe is one of the follies of man, is communication. And, you know, I, I think one of the things that I believe is a fundamental flaw in our current society is that we don't communicate, nor do we want to communicate, nor do we want to communicate about what we feel is necessarily how we're feeling uh, towards how other people treat us or say about us or something like that. It's all about conflict and it's all about not wanting to have conflict and being afraid of conflict, you know, you know, and, and I'm going to get, I'm going to get pretty, pretty out there with this. Y'all a bunch of fucking cowards. Okay. Um, Y'all a bunch of cowards. Okay. You know, if, if something pisses you off, open your fucking mouth, all right? Um, seriously. And don't necessarily open it and say, you know, uh, you know uh, you're a fucking asshole. No. Open your mouth and communicate and tell people, I don't necessarily care for that. And if you have a problem with, with how you communicate with that, there's a lot of things out there. And I should probably get you some information on how to say things to people correctly so that you can achieve what you're looking for. I don't like it that you pick your nose in front of me. Could you please stop? You know, picking your nose, it, it's, you know, it, it kind of grosses me out. But, you know, what, what, 
what people don't do enough is we're so scared of creating conflict and we're so scared of of doing anything that may create a conflict that we wallow inside of our own self um and say and don't say anything and you're just scared to say shit you know what y'all bunch of cowards get off your asses and say something okay if i don't like a way somebody treats me or if i don't like I, i'm gonna open my freaking mouth okay um and you know i say that with hostility and anger raw because i am angry about it okay because you know a person doesn't know that they've done something wrong uh unless they've been told okay and how can you expect somebody to change or improve unless you freaking tell them okay yeah you can sit back and say oh it's none of my business it is your business if it's affecting you okay if you want to 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 have this person in your life or you need to have this person in your life whether it's a co-worker or something like that it's your fault that you don't open your mouth to affect change and this honestly goes to everything in this freaking world if you don't open your mouth to affect change guess what there ain't gonna be no freaking change okay you know, nobody, nobody out there has a magical ball to, to look and see, you know, everything that they do uh, differently or that affects other people is right or wrong unless they're told, okay? We do things because we believe that it's right. We do things because we justify in our minds that, that it's correct. And, and unless told otherwise, straight line, baby, <laughs> we're going to keep on going down the road. Anyway, so I, I feel I feel good today. I'm a little bit depressed um, because of last night's performance in the channel and stuff. I am personally just going to have to get over that. Um, and I'm just going to have to get over it. And, and, and how, I don't know. I've been wrecking my brain on things that I can do and stuff like that to, to improve this. But, you know... Um, I've yet to understand how how other broadcasters can have the same numbers every single night, night after night after night after night after night, the same numbers, okay, night after night, and then I can go one night we have 180, the next night that we have 50, the next day we have 100, the next day we have 40, you know, I, I, I don't understand that, I, I don't know, and I'm going to try my hardest to figure out, you know, I, you know, I, Call it whining, call it what you will, you know, and, and listen to my own words, you know, affect change. You know, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to rack my brain as to figure out what it is. I, I do believe that what I was doing in the cast last night was a tickle boring. I agree. Um, I was hoping to get the, the audience engaged. I was hoping to get, get people engaged in what I was doing. Um, the thing is this also is that it made me decide to do the entire thing completely differently. And, and that's another thing is looking outside of a path that you're going down and saying, okay, let's look at this path again and then maybe go down a different path that may achieve the same goal, only simpler or easier. And I'm all about simple and easy. So I've rambled on enough today, you guys. Um, thank you very much for watching these and stuff like that. Make sure you share them and all that stuff. And I don't think I've said anything wrong in this one, so I'm not going to have to do a little purple blurb down below where I say something backwards um, like I did in the last one. But uh, thanks for everybody's support. Uh, again, you guys are freaking awesome. And remember that if you, you decide to walk down this road and, and uh, you know, do this journey and stuff, you know, change yourself and, and, and weight loss and things, you know, it, it takes just action. And, and doing so. And, and Javin, a, sh a shout out to you, bro. Uh, thanks for your words of encouragement on uh, on Skype. And, you know, uh, right back at you, bro. You can do this. I have faith in you, man. Um, you know, affect your life by taking action. So, everybody, I'm Chaos Chunk. Uh, check me out on um, Twitch uh, tonight. Uh, don't, it's possibly five. I might go earlier. We're still, I'm still kind of trying to, to get the, um, the timing down and stuff, it all depends on when uh, the big vacuum cleaners are on Twitch um, and stuff. And that's my term for the ones that suck up all the viewers because they've uh, inherited the number one spot type of stuff. So, And yes, I'm bitter about that. And yes, you need to get your fat asses out of the freaking number one spot so some other people have a chance to grow. There, I said it. I put it out there. I'll do it again. All right. So, guys, I love you all. Have a great day. And we out! Bye, guys.